Is Robin Williams Melinda Gates? So Robin Williams was a phenomenal actor. He was my favorite actor growing up. He was acclaimed for his brilliantly observant wit and ability for mimicry. Yep, he's good at mimicking people. Williams was an outstanding performer in both comedy and drama. His film career included works such as Popeye, Good Morning Vietnam, Dead Poets Society, Good Will Hunting, my favorite movie of all time, Aladdin, Mrs. Doubtfire, Night at the Museum, among others. Nominated for the Academy Award for the Best Actor three times, he won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his performance in Good Will Hunting. Again, some uh, three worded abbreviations here. BSA for Best Supporting Actor and Good Will Hunting, GWH. Always exploring every kind of performance, he received numerous other Emmy, Golden Globe, and Screen Actors Guild Awards. So phenomenal actor. But my big question is, is he playing his most incredible role now and pretending to be Melinda Gates? Hear me out, stay with me on this one. So we're told that Robin Williams died at the age of 63. And I know that the word Freemasonry equals 63 in two ciphers in Gematria. So I'll put the Gematronator in the description box you can uh, check for yourself. And I also found that gender switch equals 63 which is obviously switching gender. And I'm accusing Robin Williams of switching from being a man to a woman. So check out this image that I stumbled across. This is Robin Williams. This is what his face looks like on a face app. So you know the face app where it's the man and then what they look like as a woman. This is what appears for Robin Williams' face. This is Robin Williams, again, a slightly different pose, angled then check out, this is actually Melinda Gates. Okay, this is no face up, this is Melinda Gates. And it says here, actors owned by Hollywood are fake deaths and play multiple roles. I believe that. I'm gonna do a video on David Bowie, which pretty much proves it. Um, I do believe a lot of these celebrities are sacrificed by the numbers and um, genuinely do die. But I think there's a few of them who, uh, whose character dies. Their character dies, but the person doesn't. And they'll say they committed suicide, they hung themselves, they had a drug overdose. And uh, people don't look too much into it. It's just, oh, it's tragic. It's just another tragic death. But it makes you think, because look at this. This is, uh, this is not a similarity. This is almost like twins. This is like this guy wearing a wig, straight up. If this is offensive to people, just stop watching. But I'm just telling you, this guy, Robin Williams, greatly resembles Melinda Gates. So Robin Williams starred in Mrs. Doubtfire, one of my favorite movies. He played the role of Daniel, a divorced actor, and he also played the role of Mrs. Doubtfire. So basically Daniel, this divorced actor, disguises himself as Mrs. Doubtfire, an aging female Scottish housekeeper in order to work in his ex-wife's house and spend more time with his children. So I noticed that Daniel, again, they could have called him any name, but Daniel, Daniel equals 27 and 45. And I know ritual equals 27 and 45. And then a little bit more decode, the movie was released in 1993, which is 27 years before coronavirus was declared a global pandemic in 2020. And we know the connections with the Gates Foundation and coronavirus. So that was extremely interesting. So Robin Williams, he excelled in his role in playing that of a woman. So here he is playing Mrs. Doubtfire. Again, a phenomenal performance. It shows you how convincing he was to play the role of a woman. Here it is, finger on the mouth, like, shh, I'm really, I'm really uh, Gates' his wife, don't tell anybody. And uh, they could have picked any Hollywood actor, but they chose him. And people say, well, he was funny, he was a, he was a comedian, he could play any role, it's like, no, he was preparing for his future role where he would be playing. You know who, you know who, Melinda Gates. Here, she'll rock your world. Well, coronavirus is most certainly rocking our world, isn't it? So Sally Field played his wife in the movie, and that's really interesting, I'll show you why. So the movie was released in the United States on the 24th of November 1993. And with some numerology, 
24 plus 11 plus 1 plus 9 plus 9 plus 3, it gives you 57, which is really significant. So obviously Robin Williams was the one of the greatest actors of his generation, and actor equals 57. And if he is playing the role of Melinda Gates, again, it's probably the greatest acting performance in the history of acting performances. Sally Field, who played his wife in the movie, Mrs. Doubtfire, Sally Field here, uh, equals 57. Scottish Wright equals 57. Look into the Scottish Wright of Freemasonry, equals 57. And Mrs. Doubtfire pretended to be Scottish. Bill Gates equals 57. Is Robin Williams playing the role of his wife, Melinda? Satanism equals 57. If this is true, then it is satanic. And vaccine equals 57, and we know Bill and Melinda Gates have been pushing global vaccinations. 65 and 56, this is staggering for me. So it was reported that Robin Williams took his own life, uh, which was attributed to his struggle with Louis body disease. So I had to type that in. Louis body disease equals 65, pandemic equals 65, and Bill Gates is currently 65 years old. And as I told you, Mrs. Doubtfire was a housekeeper, a Scottish housekeeper. Housekeeper equals 56. Coronavirus equals 56. And Melinda Gates is currently 56. A little bit more decode. The last character Robin Williams played in a movie was that of Dennis the dog in the movie Almost Anything. So it was the voice for this dog. And Dennis the dog equals 56, guys. And Dennis, again, could have called this dog any name, Dennis, equals 65. Staggering. And let's not forget that event 201 took place 65 days after Melinda Gates' 56th birthday. So look at this. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation pledges 70 million to battle against coronavirus and to ensure that everyone gets equal access to a vaccine. Just so you know, coronavirus equals 70. This is mocking us. They are not pledging 70 million to battle against coronavirus. It's mockery. And then again, to take it to another level, publish 201. Remember, the Jeju order equals 201. William Henry Gates equals 201. And uh, again here, the 12th of November. Oh, my word. 12 is the reflection of 21, and Jeju equals 21. And what we got here? 6.3 thousand shares. How old was it when Robin Williams died? How old was he? 63. And then have, here, what do we have here? 303 view comments. Zero has no value, 33, a big Masonic number. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has pledged 70 million to battle against coronavirus and to ensure that everyone gets equal access to a vaccine. Again, they use the word equality to push their agenda. Well, if we all get the vaccine, it's equal. I'm not getting it. No chance. FDA there, another three word abbreviation. So check this out, I came across this. Uh, here, Melinda Gates. Um, again, this is a man. If it's not Robin Williams, it's a man. She came out and said, COVID-19 has been an emergency for women. I don't know why it's an emergency for women and not everybody, but that's what she came out with, or he. And that equals 191. And the Society of Jesus, which is the Jesuit order, equals 191. So again, if you learn how to decode these headlines, you can see we're being mocked. And please don't read her book, The Moment of Lift. How Empowering Women Changes the World came. Come on, again, pushing feminism and all of this. Um, they say about equal opportunities, but then they really push. You know what I mean? They're going about equal opportunities and they really push about empowering women, not empowering everybody, empowering women. So they'll decide when they want to push equality and when they want to push certain agendas. So height was interesting. I was like, okay, for this to be a possibility, they have to be at least similar in height. So Melinda Gates is listed as being around five foot eight inches tall. And Robin Williams was listed as being five foot seven inches tall. Again, put some high heels on Robin Williams. That's going to get him up to five foot eight. And on a hilarious side note, Bill Gates' dad, Bill Gates Sr., he was listed as being 2.01 meters tall. I nearly spat out my juice. 
The Jesuit order equals 201. William Henry Gates equals 201. And remember, it was William Henry Gates who predicted there would be a global pandemic October the 19th, 2000, no, October the 18th, 2019, at event 201. Remember, 201 Jesuits were saved by Catherine the Great. Come on. Uh, a little bit of foreshadowing here, which these animated shows do. I did a whole video on the Simpsons. Family Guy is probably worse, to be honest. Everyone talks about the Simpsons predicting things. Family Guy, I'll do a whole video on that. So the BBC, again, three-worded abbreviation, broadcasted an episode of Family Guy about Robin Williams and a failed suicide attempt just minutes before it was revealed that the actor had been found hanged. A few minutes before they broadcasted it and then it got announced at 11.56 p.m. 11.56 p.m. by Reuters that Robin Williams had killed himself. Again, here he is, Robin Williams, in the show. Um, it was planned years ago that he was going to die on this day. His character was going to die, not Robin Williams. His character realized that. So Mrs. Doubtfire, Metacritic rating. Again, nearly spat out my juice. Metascore, 53. User score, 8.4. Hilarious, I'll tell you why. 53 and 8.4 ratings. Man equals 53 in the Gematronator, transgender, gender, sexuality, chromosomes, transhumanism, luciferian. Remember in Mrs. Doubtfire, Robin Williams is a man playing the role of a woman, he's a transgender. And the 8.4 rating, again, hilarious. Jesuit equals 84, the Jesuit order equals 84. And then this, which I didn't even know, I had to research it. So Melinda Gates' birth name was Melinda Ann French. And that equals 84. But what makes me laugh that her last name was French. And that's the home of the Jesuits. France is the home of the Jesuits. Research it. Paris, France. My word. My word. So again, this took a lot of time to find this, but both Robin Williams and Melinda Gates were born on a Saturday. And that's significant because Saturday equals 53, as does transgender, man and gender, and sexuality, etc., Luciferian. So both born on a Saturday. And then obviously Pope Francis needs to uh, appear. It's connected to everything, it seems. Pope Francis, the first Jesuit Pope, was a span of 77 years, seven months and 26 days old when Robin Williams passed away. Uh, that is a magical triple seven. Okay, Satan is known as Satan 666, but God is known as 777. He's always one step ahead of Satan. And followed by a 26, which is a divine number. So like I said, the last movie he starred in was called Absolutely Anything, where he played Dennis the dog. And Absolutely Anything, his last ever movie equals 77. And God in Gematria, equals 26, so G is the seventh letter, O is the 15th, D is the fourth, it's 26. And it's not coincidence that there's 26 letters in the English alphabet. Also, Jorge Mario Bergoglio equals 201, that's the full name of Pope Francis, and the Jesuit order equals 201. They're all connected, Robin Williams was part of the Jesuit order, Bill Gates is, or he still is. Um, it's all pretty confusing, but again, the world is a stage and we've been mocked since we've been born, I'm trying to reveal that. But it makes you wonder, doesn't it? So this is Robin Williams, this is him playing Mrs. Doubtfire, and this is uh, Melinda Gates. I, I can literally tell no difference between these three, really. Like, if you give Robin Williams this hair, this wig, which is a wig, and put it on his head right there, give him a little bit of lipstick, that is the same person. Look at the chin, look at the jaw, look at the nose, forehead. So I honestly think, like I said, this was a foreshadowing, this was predictive programming when he played the role of Mrs. Doubtfire because they reveal their truth and they often do it in movies or songs, but usually in movies. This was preparing him. He played this role to prepare him to play Melinda Gates, his greatest ever role. And even if you think this is all crazy, come on, the similarities are undeniable. 
Melinda Gates on vaccine progress and caregiving crisis. Again, they, they claim to be philanthropists that want to help you. We want to give everyone the vaccine. We want everyone to get it. Yeah, of course you do. Because you invested billions in the vaccines. You want everyone to get it. But you'll pretend that you want us to get it to save us. But um, look at here with the upside down cross. And again, that symbolizes Satan, if you really look into it. I'm sure the media, the mainstream will say, oh no, this is what this means, it signifies this. No, it's Satan, the upside down cross. And it's in your face, it's in your face. They always put these books behind them and plants and all that, and I'm so intelligent, it's, it's all staged. This is Robin Williams. This is Robin Williams playing the role of Melinda Gates. So check this out. A lot of people said Bill and Melinda don't look like they used to look. There's definitely similarities for sure. It's not like a major transformation, but this is Bill Gates. And don't be giving me, oh, well, people change as they get older. This guy and this guy, where people say, oh, he looks like a lizard and all of this, because people like David Icke who push this whole reptilian agenda, which is nonsense. But again, I'm not sure they're the same person. I don't know what they can do with artificial intelligence and cloning and stuff. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. But this here, look really carefully. This is Melinda Gates, and this is supposedly Melinda Gates. This is not the same person. There's a similarity. Of course there's a similarity, because Robin Williams looked like Melinda Gates. But look, that's not the same. It's not the same person. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. That is not the same person. And look at these hands, guys. Again, look, they these nice, beautiful backdrops of Thames in the background and all of that, as far as I'm aware. Look at her hands, or his hands, way bigger than Bill's. Look at the shoulders, Adam's apple. This is Robin Williams. I really believe that. I could be wrong. Maybe it's genuinely Melinda Gates. Maybe she really cares about us, and so does Bill. Come on, if you look into it, it's clear as day that they don't. So again, when I put out this content, it's not to be offensive, it's not to judge anybody. I'm just putting, I'm connecting dots and I'm connecting dots with not just their appearance, the fact that he played Mrs. Doubtfire, where he excelled in the role of pretending to be a woman, uh, the connections with the Pope and the date in which Robin Williams died. These are all factual stuff. They both were born on a Saturday equals 53, like transgender equals 53. The whole ratings, which I told you, they manipulate the ratings um, on Rotten Tomatoes or Metacritic or whatever it is, IMDb. It's all manipulated, those numbers, to push agendas. The foreshadowing, the predictive programming in Family Guy, literally a few minutes after this episode was aired, Robin Williams commits suicide, and in this episode, he attempts suicide. Again, the height is an inch between them. Again, give Robin Williams a pair of high heels. Can quite easily become five foot eight. And I'm sure that there's like estrogen you can pump into people. You know what I mean? Get rid of all the testosterone, give them plastic surgeries, fake breasts and all of that. Look at a lot of WWE wrestlers. Well, for start, China. People still say that was a woman. Funny that she died at the age of 45 and ritual equals 45. China was a man. I think a lot of the WWE women, Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks, are men. Look into it. So yeah, they donate 70 million to battle against coronavirus and Gematria coronavirus equals 70. 6.3 thousand shares. Robin Williams supposedly died at 63. Done all the 65, 56 connections, 57 connections. Discuss Mrs. Doubtfire in detail. The 27 and 45 with Daniel and Ritual and how the movie was released 27 years before coronavirus was declared a global pandemic. This image, I think I could have just done a video showing you this image to make you think. Um, but guys, like I said, I loved Robin Williams, incredible actor. It's hard for me to do these videos. I am not against transgenders, gays, bi's, blacks. Well, I don't, we're all human beings. 
That's why I'll agree with him with the equality. We're all humans. We're all unique, but we're all the same. This is the life we're living. It's so confusing. You know what I mean? There's, there's so much gray in this world and we've made it black and white. Throw this, anti that. See the gray. So again, what do you think? Is Robin Williams Melinda Gates? I think so.